Good news to you all. I'm Priscilla. Good news, and I'm with Ba. I mean Balde. Wow! Welcome to Story Time. Are you ready to tell a story, Ba? Yeah, I'm ready. Wow! Absolutely amazing. I'm excited to share a story with you today. Which story do you think we're going to read today? Take a guess. Hmm. I know what it is. Of course, you know what it is. Well, it's a story where Jesus performed. A miracle, right? Yeah. Well, and that miracle had to do with the fish and some loaves of bread, right? Yeah. Do you know what story it is? And the story is coming from Matthew fourteen, Mark six, Luke nine, and John six. Jesus sent his disciples out to teach the people about the coming of God's kingdom. When they returned, they wanted to tell him about everything. They had seen and heard, but people were coming and going all around them. The disciples didn't even have time to eat. Ha! Jesus saw how very tired and hungry they were, and he said, "Let's go away by ourselves so you can rest." They were near the Sea of Galilee, so they all got into a boat and sailed toward the other side. But the crowds of people saw where they were going. They ran along the shore. So they reached the other side even before Jesus and his disciples. Wow! Wow! Jesus stepped out of the boat and saw all the people. His heart hurt for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began to heal their sick and to teach them. Wow! Glory be to God! Wow! Absolutely. Now the place where Jesus was teaching was out in the country and away in the towns. So when evening came, the disciples went to Jesus and said, "This place is a wilderness, and it's already late. Send the people away so they can go into the villages and buy food for themselves. They don't need to go away." Jesus said, "You give them something to eat." But Philip, one of the disciples, said, "It will take much to feed these people, for there were about five thousand men gathered, as women and children." Wow, that would take a lot, right? Yeah, that would take a lot to feed them. That would take a lot to feed them. After searching, one of his disciples, named Andrew, who was Peter's brother, said, "There's a boy here who has five loaves and two fish. But how can we feed so many people with so little?" Jesus simply said, "Bring them here to me." So Jesus said, "Have the people sit down in groups." The people sat down and waited to see what would happen. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish. Then, looking up to heaven, he gave thanks for them. He broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. Everyone ate as much as they wanted. And all the disciples picked up twelve baskets full of leftover pieces, all from five small loaves and two fish. Wow! <laughs> Absolutely amazing. That is an amazing story, right, Bao? Wow! 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 We see multiplication there. It doesn't matter how little you have; Jesus can multiply that. Pray about it, and Jesus will multiply it. Miracles are still happening today. Wow! We thank God. Wow! Absolutely amazing story. Well, that's it for today. We're not out of good news. We're just out of time, and we thank our Father, His Excellency, Ambassador Hubert Angel. And Madame Bibi Angel for this amazing opportunity to read you this story. Well, stay tuned, and until next time. You wonder, lab scientist. Today we're going to be learning about the rainbow. But before we do that, I'd like to honor my prophet, prophet Ibn Andrew, for this opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm Professor Flop. Good news to you. What are we learning? The rainbow today, Jed. Today we're going to be learning about how God promised us He will never flood the earth again. Wow. With the rainbow that shows God's love. Oh yes, the rainbow is beautiful 
and it's God's sign to us that he loves us. Amen. It's a beautiful gift. So let's start the experiment. Oh yes, Jed. Show us, Jed. But before we start, would you like to read us something? Okay, I'd like to say something uh, in the Bible, Jed. Thank you, Professor Flob. Let's hear it. The Bible says in Genesis 9, verse 12 to 17, the rainbow that I have put uh, in the sky will be my sign to you and to every living creature on earth. It will remind you that I will keep this promise forever. Thank you, Professor Flob. So let's start the experiment. Oh, yes, Jed. Show us, Jed. You have to get tissue paper and color with different colors and leave the middle part white. So get two glasses of water and dip both ends into them. And then you see it's wow. a rainbow. Look at this, guys. There's so much color now. There's so much color. And wow, it's all the colors going in together, just like the rainbow, Jed. Yes, it is. Amen. So look, you have to wait for just a few minutes. It does not even take long. Maybe just three minutes. Wow. And you have a beautiful rainbow. Well, that's it for today. Remember that the rainbow is a gift from God and it shows God's love to us, right? Amen. That's it for today. We're never out of good news. We're just out of time. Bye. Bye. Yeah. You are walking, you have a full majority. 
Speak your words into 